Hello, everybody. Welcome to the International College of Integrative Medicine podcast, translating science to clinical practice since 1983. I'm your host, Luke W. Russell, and today I am joined by Dr. Eric Bourne. Dr. Bourne, thanks for taking time to sit down and talk with me. You're welcome. So as I we're here at the ICIM conference here in Minneapolis, um, and you, as I understand it, are the program chair for the next event coming up in Philadelphia, right? Philadelphia. In, in March. Um, could you tell us what, what's that event about and um, what's kind of the, the premise for it? Sure. So the title of the conference is A Message from Your Heart, Answers to Cardiovascular Disease. And... The roots of our organization go back to 1983, as you said, when a group of doctors in the Midwest, and particularly the Great Lakes area, our first name was uh, the Great Lakes Association of Advancement for Medicine, they were all interested in chelation therapy back then and were looking for some support. So our roots of our organization have a lot to do with cardiovascular disease. The other um, evolution has occurred is these were um, they were way ahead of their time so they were using things like diet and intravenous disodium EDTA many uh, these things that now have gained popularity and also gained a lot of science and studies behind it now that we have the tra- TAC trial the trial mm-hmm. to assess chelation therapy so back then there was really only uh, bypass surgery. Uh, there wasn't really a lot of the other interventions that we had. So our founders of this group really had a foresight in the cardiovascular area. We're going to have um, uh, some workshops at uh, before the convention. One of those will be a workshop on disodium EDTA or chelation therapy. Uh, we're really looking forward to that and training the future generations on what's uh, occurring. There was a um, 20% improvement in all-cause mortality in the first TAC trial if you were non-diabetic. And if you're a diabetic, there is a 40% wow. improvement. And we don't really have any treatments that match that now. So TAC2 trial is going on. The lead investigator, Tony mm-hmm. Lamas, will be one of our speakers. Mm-hmm. Um, we're excited that um, he's going to be able to be there. Um, at the workshops, we have a, um, a workshop for practice management, uh, helping set up the practice and become more efficient for both uh, physicians and office managers. And we're excited to have uh, Robert Rowan, a long-term member, running a workshop on ozone therapy. Can you tell me um, a story or two uh, of one of your patients you've worked with where you've seen chelation really make a big impact in their life? Uh, Absolutely. Um, So I started in 1991 doing uh, chelation therapy, and um, we've uh, continued to have our patients just tell other patients of their success. Um, it's interesting when you do this, people will come for various reasons. Um, one just recently stands out in mine had some carotid disease, um, so it was being monitored yearly by ultrasound. Um, the patient went back to get their yearly ultrasound, and the doctor uh, stated that the previous exam must have been misread because this exam was much better. Wow. So. Um, I said, did you explain to them what you had done? And she did not explain. I said, I please want you to explain <laughs> what you did. And that the previous exam probably was correct. So um, it's, it's uh, really good to see a lot of um, successes. I always tell people that chelation is one more tool in our bag. Mm-hmm. Um, there, it doesn't exclude them from doing other treatments. It is the only thing that really addresses uh, getting blood flow to those small capillary arteries where they still, many of them are already have had an intervention and that's absolutely fine. We want to keep them with their uh, cardiologist or vascular surgeon 
and we're not trying to be a substitute for that, but just one more tool that they can avail themselves on. Yeah. For um, a physician who hasn't done chelation, and um, what do you have a few other thoughts, kind of, for that person, for that physician who's listening and thinking, you know, okay, one, uh, um, it's this, the, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come up with, a, like, my goal with, with what I want to elicit from you is this idea of, like, here's, why is it, su- why is it such a valuable tool in their toolkit? There's nothing else that addresses the entire vascular bed like that. So once disease starts in one area, chances are they have disease in other areas. Um, the other really important thing I think about chelation it's really our thing that we'd use for heavy metal toxicity we're living in a very toxic world we have a lot of different metals within us we all know that these metals should not be in our body that they are a cause of disease and by getting those metals out, I think we're helping prevent other diseases. Uh, people come for various reasons. Sometimes it's the metals we take care of with various chelators. Um, sometimes it's the vascular disease that they come for. But we're very holistic here. We want to improve their overall mm-hmm. health. We not only just hang a bag of a fluid for them, but we yeah. always talk to them about their diet, their supplements, their lifestyle, and it's a comprehensive approach that we teach. Yeah. I'll be back in a little bit with more from Dr. Eric Bourne. First, let's listen in as our executive director, Wendy Chapel, shares a few thoughts. Hello, this is Wendy. If you are an ICIM member, I want to be sure you are getting the most from your membership. We have a great page on our website, www.icimed.com, where we highlight members' blogs. This is a really good way to check on the many projects and practice focal points of your colleagues. And we want to make sure that your blog is up there too. On our website, we have great opportunities for you to get some marketing advice from Luke and ISOM's own in-house team of social media and multimedia experts. We offer legal advice from our general counsel, John Richardson, and tons of emotional support when you need it. Both marketing and legal help are listed on our website under the button Member Resources. New membership benefit that you can find there is that in that same section of our website, you can now listen to past lectures for free. More good things come from membership, such as honest conversations by email where colleagues share questions about challenging case studies. Thanks, Wendy. Now, back to the interview with Dr. Eric Bourne. Um, what about uh, from the application of chelation? I know some, I know, uh, what, what's, is, is there an application within pediatrics here? Um, or is it, because I know I've talked to some physicians that do various forms of chelation with children, but I know it's a different format. Correct. So um, only one form, disodium EDTA, affects the atherosclerosis or plaque in the arteries. Um, there are many other types of chelation that are used for heavy metal toxicity. And some of those are what we use for children. Uh, Certainly the um, autism world has benefited from getting some of these toxins out. That's a a common um, population that we treat. Uh, There are both injections and oral pills that they can take. Uh, So it, it is amazing the toxicities that we're seeing not only in the elderly, but at all ages. Thank you. Uh, w- one final thing. Could you share, so you've been part of ICM for a while. Could you share um, a little bit about how being a member here and part of this community has impacted your practice? 
This is where we learn what we do. And uh, no matter what you're doing, I, each meeting is amazing what you can pick up. And we not only learn from the podium, from our great lectures we've been having, but I probably learned just as much at the lunch table from the mm -hmm. person that might be sitting next to me that we start talking about something and we pass a pearl uh, back to each other about what we're doing. And then the other people may hear that and jump in too. So uh, it is something that um, um, carries throughout the whole uh, weekend. We um, all like seeing each other as well, so it kind of recharges us and yeah. energizes us about uh, maybe any problems that we're struggling with, we can hash out with our uh, colleagues, and there's always an opportunity for learning. We always have some great exhibitors that also come and um, seem to offer us something new every time, every meeting. Yeah, I want to follow up quickly on the, um, you said, you know, sometimes you have a, a case you can't, you, you're trying to figure out and, and you reach, you know, you, you collaborate with other physicians mm -hmm. to get their input. Can you think of a particular time in which um, the collaboration with the ICIM community helped you? Absolutely. So particularly when I first started out, I was calling my mentors, my peers, and and I'm probably monthly uh, sometimes. Um, so that was a great resource. And then I remember after I had been in the group uh, maybe eight years or something like that, somebody called me. Uh -huh. And I go, I think I just stepped to the other side, although we still all talk uh, to each other. But uh, so now probably more people are calling me than I'm uh, calling them. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're very innovative. We, uh, we want to practice uh, safe medicine. And uh, one of the big challenges that we're all facing is getting the materials uh, to treat our patients. Yeah. So this uh, didn't used to be a problem in the 90s. Uh, there were a lot of manufacturers, they were inexpensive, but now just simple vitamin IVs can be a challenge to get all the ingredients, sometimes the bag that you put them in, uh, sterile water, um, normal saline. There have been shortages nationwide and um, that can hinder our ability. So we're all yeah. calling and seeing if anybody's got a source to find a simple thing like vitamin C or magnesium. So this group is a true treasure and a great resource to anybody who would come. Excellent, thank you so much, Dr. Bourne. You're welcome.